Hey guys, welcome to I'm Adam. And I'm Bruce. And test your bank accounts, everyone, because soon we'll have yet another console to buy. Just to catch you up on the story to date, Kotaku first reported on the PlayStation 4 re-release last week, and then Eurogamer's Digital Foundry confirmed those rumors with their sources yesterday. Mm -hmm. And well, it's time for the no to chip Ooh, in. that's us! And uh, we can not only confirm that the PlayStation 4K is real, mm -hmm. but we can also share price, release date, and functional info about the console with you guys and gals. And we won't even tease it out, right, Lawrence? Yeah, let's go! Oh, okay, so the PlayStation 4.5, as it's being called, will release this holiday, 2016, and wow. is currently priced 2016. at... And is currently priced at $400, although we're told that's tentative and could change. Did you just whistle like it was too much or too small? I think it's too small. He has a half-built computer over there, so I'm just like, what's $400 to you mean? That's a good deal. Five bottles of wine! <laughs> as you'd imagine, there's a lot of lingering questions. We have the answers to most of those. The existing model of the PlayStation 4 will be sold. Okay. The PlayStation shit, or I don't know what it's going to be called, but <laughs> that will drop in price, but we don't know to what. So Go essentially, the... you'll have the premium model and the shitty, the shitty I have to work two jobs model. Yeah. The new name will be PlayStation 4 Poor People. Oh. What no. up, dude? <laughs> I play FIFA somewhere. Uh, and as the reports imply, the console will output everything in 4K resolution. Whoa! That includes videos and currently existing games? Uh, there are a few caveats to that. Uh, when it comes to technical performance, Digital Foundry is actually pretty on the nose with their analysis of the console. You should check out the research if you get a chance. But essentially, they report that there's no technical way for a console with a form factor and price similar to a PlayStation 4 to render games natively at yep. 4K. Talking about some up resin. Yeah. So while Digital Foundry is astoundingly thorough, Here's the layman version for all those PlayStation 4 poor peoples. Whoa. <laughs> Take it away, Lawrence. Okay, so here's a lot of numbers coming at you, so, you know, be aware. Look at it. Uh, 4K is 3,840 by 2,160 pixels, mm -hmm. uh, or essentially double 1080p in both dimensions. Right. And because that's how squares work, it basically means you have quadruple the total number of pixels. So essentially that's four 1080p's all lined up right. to make one image. Right. Uh, that means each frame is 8.3 megapixels as opposed to 1080p's 2.1. Wow. Uh, simply put, that's a shitload of pixels, and there's no way existing or even near future tech can crank out that amount of pixels and still have the relative form factor and price of a PS4. Mm -hmm. True 4K gaming is more in the realm of massive expensive PCs like the one Joel's gonna put together. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. They need multiple video cards, and even then, it's not that easy to do. Right. You just need crazy amounts of power, like two $1,000 video cards, Massive ass CPUs. It's a lot of heat and miniaturizing all that stuff in a PS4. It's just not going to happen. Uh, question for you, Lawrence. What if I believe? <laughs> you can continue to believe. Yeah, it won't matter. It won't matter. Some guy on Reddit said he did it. Yeah. Just uh, hook hook little diodes up to your nipples, and all the belief will come out and power the PS4 and make it 4K. <laughs> Thank you, Sony. God bless America. Uh, and it turns out they are correct. Our source confirms that while the console will put out a 4K image, it will upres it from whatever native resolution a given game spits out. Mm -hmm. Uh, this shouldn't be a huge surprise, mostly because it has been happening for a while now. Uh, both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 upscale to 1080p from lower resolutions, so it's not uncommon. Mm -hmm. Most people don't really seem to notice. That's why your parents have true motion enabled on their televisions. Right. Tell them to stop. With all that said, here's the cool part. Mm -hmm. Games are already in development that specifically utilize the increased power of the PlayStation 4.5. We're told that a developer that has worked extensively with Sony in the past is developing a game for the PS4.5 using a major property. Ooh, God of War. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I, I yeah, haven't I'm, seen one in a while. We're not sure. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, the game will be demonstrated at E3 this year and is scheduled to release in Q2 2017. Oh, okay. Most of you will see it on a YouTube live stream in 1080p and go, wow, 4K looks great. <laughs> Interestingly, games that are developed to use the PS4.5's extra horsepower will still work on original PlayStation 4s. As you'd expect, our source tells us that there will be a noticeable difference in performance, though. Mm -hmm. Now, we can't speak to how noticeable that difference will be as we don't have specific tech specs on the new PS4. Right. Our source did reveal, though, that the new PS4 will unlock an additional CPU core for developers to use. Uh, aside from that, we tend to agree with Digital Foundry, right, Lawrence? Yeah, they made a lot of really interesting predictions given the current and future state of GPU tech. Essentially, they speculate, and it's probably justified, that the, uh, the new PS4 will use a customized AMD CPU-GPU hybrid like the current PS4. Yeah. Uh, and AMD as a company is set to release their new GPU architecture called Polaris this fall, which utilizes a fancy new 14 nanometer fabrication process. Ooh, nano machines. Yep, basically. Uh, so again, head over to Digital Foundry if you want to be gobsmacked with some very intelligent research and a lot of big words. But the bottom line is AMD's new graphic tech is faster, smaller, and more energy efficient 
which is everything you want in a home console. Yeah. Polaris will also natively support 4K, ATCP 2.2, HDR, HDMI 2.0, and a wider color spectrum, so it seems like a no-brainer when it comes to how PlayStation would attempt to double their GPU power. Yeah, in terms of development, Digital Foundry questions the ease of compatibility, particularly when it comes to upgrading to a new Radeon architecture and splitting developmental resources. In their analysis of what a mid-generation refresh PS4 could look like, they entertain the possibility that we might just see a PS4 Slim slightly enhanced by a downsized 14, 16 nanometer APU production process. Still with us? Wake up. Uh, there Charlie! They're there, they're there. 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 Uh, so that rounds out the hard news we have to offer, but we have a few lingering questions about this bizarre new console, right, Lawrence? Yeah, so it implies a lot of a lot of interesting questions, especially about why Sony would introduce it now, and what it means also that they're trying to get VR off the ground. A lot of outlets are pointing to a 4K PS4 as the key to making PlayStation VR more competitive when it's compared to ah, its yes. PC counterparts like the Vive and the Oculus Rift. Yeah. They're not wrong technically, but for the fact that the PlayStation VR has its own display and it's not a 4K display. Okay. It's actually a good deal worse than the other one. So the PlayStation VR uses a 1080p display split across two eyes, so 960 by 1080 per eye. Okay, wow. That is lower than the Oculus and the Vive, which are both 1080 by 1200 per eye. Yeah. So while the PlayStation 4.5 would theoretically make for a better VR experience with higher frame rates and better graphics, on a base level it can't compete with either the Oculus or the Vive because the display is just fundamentally lower resolution. Yeah, Having a better PlayStation 4 will not make PlayStation VR look sharper because the screen in your eyeballs can't change hmm. unless they release a PS VR 1.5? Well, they might do that. Or also, again, what we were talking about earlier is the PS4.5 can push faster frame rates to the PSVR yeah. and therefore make it better in terms of frame rates, not resolution, yeah. but maybe frame rates. A little bit of trickery. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a 4K console set to release within the year and a sorta kinda up 4K launch title coming in Q2 2017. Yeah, here's a big question though. Are there enough 4K TVs out there for this console to matter, Adam? Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, although TV sales saw an overall drop in 2015, 4K TV sales are witnessing unprecedented growth, really? as reported by research firm IHS. 4K TV shipments in Q4 2015 increased by 173% year Jeez. over year Jeez. to a global count of 32 million units. Yeah, so because of that yearly spike, IHS predicts that by 2019, 34% of US households will own a 4K set, with other big TV consuming countries like China and the UK following suit. That being said, only 14% of Japanese households are predicted to own 4K sets by 2019, influenced by the Japanese consumer inclination for smaller intimate screens. Right, this could change though, what with Japan making a 2018 UHD broadcast push in preparation for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Go Tokyo! So it seems like the 4K TV market is only growing and will continue to as prices further decline due to what IHS sees as the consequences of oversupply and lack of demand. So smash your piggy banks and drain those PayPal accounts. <laughs> you haven't bought a 4K TV, so you can watch Slow Mo Guys videos yet. Ah, oh, the PlayStation yeah, right. 4.5 will probably tip you over the edge, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, here's the real question. Are you guys excited to buy a new, better PS4? Lawrence, are you excited? Yeah, I, I just you like- You are? I like buying tech. Okay. I like right, buying right. consoles. I'm really excited. I, I want to buy the NX and I don't even know what it is. I just want to get it and open it and plug it in and turn it on. Oh boy, what about you? Are you gonna get the 4.5? I, I, so I've been actually looking to make the dive into 4K televisions. Cause oh, yeah. I, have a, I have a 1080p Samsung, it's good. Sure. Um, but it seems like 4K is kind of the new thing. They're coming down in price. They are, they are. It's, and uh, like I said, Olympics, 4K, might be fun to watch. I want to see the Olympics uh -huh. in 4K. No, it's a lot of money, guys. I I, it's not, no, I mean, yeah. yeah. I just realized how phenomenally gross and creepy some people are going to be watching like floor gymnastics in 4K. Mm -hmm. So what? Batman vs Superman. I might see it again, but I'm not sure. I don't know what he was doing. That's where his. Superman had a vision. I don't know. He went on vision quest. I don't know. Hey, but hold, hold on. Save Actually, him. you'll Save know this. Him. Why was he carrying a... I've been stacking rocks up here for 20 years, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Where you been? <laughs>